Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Hollywood has a long history and backstory. And nowadays, there are several conspiracy theorists claiming that the celebrities of Hollywood are being controlled by the Illuminati. If you have been paying close attention to Kanye, you would notice the strange things he has been saying about celebrities, which have led many to believe it is true. Recently, he called Beyonce out for being in the Illuminati, which drew a lot of attention. But what did she say? What did she do? I wanted to show my body. <laughs> Keep watching until the end to find out. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscription button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will reply to your comment. Are you ready for the breakdown? Number eight, the video call out. Kanye West made it known that he had criticisms for Jay-Z, Beyonce, and LeBron James. He explained that his thoughts were that Hollywood has a level of control over certain individuals and that these people are scared that Hollywood will harm their loved ones. Kanye stated, they can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they can control LeBron James, they can control Jay-Z and Beyonce, but they can't control me. You see, it ain't no name I won't name. It's up. Have you all seen that video? Number seven, references. He went on to mention his mother's passing in 2007 and suggested that it was a result of her being sacrificed, like Michael Jordan's father and the sons of Bill Cosby and Dr. Dre. He said, Michael Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son. Dr. Dre, his son. Out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. It feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. This isn't the first time Kanye has spoken about Jay-Z in a way that may not have been favorable to him. Number six, the stage invasion. Tensions between the two rappers began to escalate after Kanye's controversial stage invasion at the 2009 VMAs, which took the spotlight away from both Taylor Swift and Jay-Z's wife, Beyonce. The public began to wonder if there was trouble between the two when Jay-Z and Beyonce did not attend Kanye and Kim Kardashian's wedding. Additionally, when Kim was robbed in Paris, Jay-Z did not offer Kanye support. Then, in November 2016, during a concert in Sacramento, California, Kanye went on a 17-minute tirade praising Donald Trump and asking Jay-Z not to have him assassinated. Number five, album release. Jay-Z's album, 444, released in 2017, included several disses directed at Kanye. When talking about his issues with Kanye, which escalated when Kanye ranted about Jay-Z at a concert, Jay-Z said, what really hurt me was, you can't bring my wife and my kids into it. Like, Kanye is my little brother. He's talked about me a hundred times. He even made a song called Big Brother. We've gotten past bigger issues, but you brought my family into it. Now, it's a problem. You know it's a problem because me and him would have talked about it and resolved our issues. And he knows he crossed the line. He knows. And I know he knows. Because we've never let this much space go between one of our disagreements. And we've had many. That's part of who we are. Jay-Z also discussed the diss on the song Kill Jay-Z. He stated that he was not dissing Kanye, but rather talking about himself and analyzing his own reaction to being called out by Kanye. He said... It's not about a Kanye diss. I'm talking about me. When I say you dropped out of school or you lost your principles, I'm not talking about Kanye. I'm talking about me, the whole thing. Afterwards, Kanye retaliated by taking all his music off Jay-Z's streaming platform title and announced that he was done with streaming. Number four, brother rivalry. In July, 2017, Jay-Z acknowledged that there was a brotherly rivalry between him and Kanye. That same month, a documentary titled Public Enemies, Jay-Z vs. Kanye, aired on Channel 4, which chronicled the rise and fall of the two pop stars. However, in May 2018, during an interview with Charlemagne the God, Kanye revealed that he felt hurt that Jay-Z and Beyonce did not attend his wedding to Kim. In September of that year, Kanye referred to the Carters, Jay-Z and Beyonce, as family, and Beyonce was seen wearing Yeezy shoes in an Instagram post. 
Number three, Reunion. It wasn't until December 2019 that Kanye and Jay-Z reconciled when they were seen greeting each other and taking pictures together at P. Diddy's 50th birthday party. Their feud appears to be a thing of the past. Kanye's highly anticipated 10th album Donda was set for release after a long delay. As a tribute to his late mother, who passed away in 2007, Kanye asked Jay-Z to collaborate with him on the album. The single Donda appears at the end of the album. The surprise collaboration sent fans into a frenzy as it occurred a decade after their last song together, No Church in the Wild, from their first collaborative album, Watch the Throne, 2011. It is not clear why Kanye is bringing it up now. Number 2. The Illuminati Kanye West's recent statements have sparked speculation that he believes Jay-Z, Beyonce, and LeBron James are being controlled by Hollywood. This belief aligns with the conspiracy theory that the couple are members of the Illuminati, a secret society that is said to control the world through their music and performances. The conspiracy theory that the world is controlled by an ancient cabal of cultists who use secret signals to communicate is often associated with music videos. This theory posits that these powerful individuals use symbols and hidden meanings to convey messages to one another rather than communicating through more conventional means. This theory is seen as a distraction from more pressing issues such as economic inequality and climate change, as it suggests that valuable information can be found in phrases like Becky with the good hair, rather than by gaining a deeper understanding of politics and power dynamics. For several years, Jay-Z has used a hand signal that forms a triangle during his performances, which is believed to represent a diamond and has become associated with him and his record label. Occasionally, Beyonce has also used his hand signal, likely in support of her husband. However, for some, the triangle shape is associated with the Eye of Providence, a symbol that is typically depicted inside a triangle or pyramid. This symbol is often associated with the idea of a higher power watching over humanity and is used in religious and spiritual contexts. But many theories suggest that it is also used by members of the Illuminati. Number 1. Belief Systems The Eye of Providence symbol has been associated with a variety of belief systems such as the Freemasons and the Illuminati, as well as the conspiracy theories surrounding them. Recently, the Pizzagate conspiracy theory has also been linked to the triangle shape. Thus, some conspiracy theorists believe that Jay-Z's use of the hand signal is secretly signaling his devotion to the Illuminati. However, the problem with attaching significant meaning to a simple shape such as a triangle is that it can be found everywhere, and it is easy for theorists to create a narrative by interpreting supposed secret symbolism in music videos. It is true that Beyoncé and her creative team frequently use religious iconography in her performances and music videos, which can lend itself to conspiracy theories. The use of such imagery can create wild associations between shapes, set pieces, and dance routines, which can fuel bizarre narratives. Beyoncé and Jay-Z are aware of the increasingly strange theories that surround them, and Beyonce addresses these theories directly in her song Formation with the lyrics, Y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess. This statement can be interpreted as Beyonce's dismissal of these theories as unfounded and without merit. What do you think about that? Do you feel Kanye is lying? Let us know in the comments. I doubt he is, considering all the evidence that backs up what he says. Before you move on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos about your favorite celebrities. There's more to the entertainment. Check out this related video to see more, and I will see you in the next video.